Across the vast savannas and woodlands of Africa, a fascinating primate species thrives, the baboon. These landscapes, stretching as far as the eye can see, provide the perfect backdrop for the daily lives of these remarkable creatures. These intelligent and adaptable creatures with their distinctive dog-like faces and colorful hindquarters are a common sight for those fortunate enough to explore their domain. Their expressive faces and vibrant rear ends are not just for show, they play crucial roles in communication and social interaction. Baboons belonging to the genus Papio encompass five distinct species, each adapted to its unique habitat. These species include the olive baboon, yellow baboon, chakma baboon, guinea baboon, and the hamadryas baboon. Each species has evolved to thrive in its specific environment, showcasing the incredible adaptability of these primates. From the olive baboons of the East African plains to the chakma baboons of Southern Africa, these primates showcase a remarkable ability to thrive in diverse environments. Whether in the arid savannas or lush woodlands, baboons have carved out a niche for themselves. Their lives are a delicate balance between finding food, raising their young, and navigating the complex social structures that define their existence. Foraging for food is a daily task, and mothers are often seen tenderly caring for their young, ensuring the next generation's survival. Life for a baboon is rarely dull. Playful interactions, grooming sessions, and explorations of their surroundings keep them constantly engaged and active. The African landscape presents a myriad of challenges, from predators like leopards and lions to competition for resources with other animals. Baboons must always be vigilant, as danger can lurk around any corner. Baboons, however, are not solitary creatures. They live in complex social groups known as troops, which can range in size from a few individuals to over a hundred. These troops provide safety in numbers and a structured social environment. These troops are not merely random gatherings, they are highly structured societies with intricate hierarchies and alliances. Dominance hierarchies dictate access to resources and mating opportunities, and alliances can shift the balance of power within the group. Within these groups, baboons exhibit fascinating behaviors, particularly when it comes to mating. Courtship rituals and mating behaviors are complex and often involve displays of strength and social status. Their social dynamics and reproductive strategies provide a captivating glimpse into the forces that shape animal behavior and evolution. Observing these behaviors offers valuable insights into the intricate web of life that defines the African landscape. Baboons are highly social animals and their lives revolve around the intricate web of relationships within their troop. At the heart of this social structure lies a strict hierarchy, a pecking order that dictates access to resources, mates, and even social interactions. This hierarchy is not static, it is a dynamic system, constantly in flux as individuals challenge, rise, and fall in rank. For male baboons, size and strength are key. Young males often leave their natal troop upon reaching maturity, embarking on a journey to find their place in a new group. This transition is fraught with challenges, as they must prove their worth to establish dominance. Ascending the hierarchy often involves engaging in displays of aggression, from threatening postures to physical confrontations. These battles, while seemingly brutal, are usually more bark than bite, with rituals and displays often replacing actual violence. Dominant males, easily identifiable by their large size and often brightly colored rumps, enjoy privileged access to fertile females and prime feeding spots. However, their reign is not without its challenges. While male baboons may grab the spotlight with their dramatic displays of dominance, their loud calls, and their fierce battles for hierarchy, it is the females who ultimately hold the key to reproductive success. Their role, though less overtly aggressive, is equally, if not more, critical in the continuation of the species. Female baboons, unlike many other mammals, do not have a defined breeding season. This means they can potentially conceive at any time of the year, making their reproductive cycle quite unique. Instead, they experience a cycle known as the estrus cycle, which governs their fertility. This cycle is a complex interplay of hormonal changes that prepare the female's body for potential pregnancy. This cycle, lasting approximately 30 to 35 days, is marked by a period of sexual receptivity known as estrus or heat. During this time, the female is most fertile and ready to mate. During estrus, a remarkable transformation takes place in the female's body, 
her genitalia swell turning a bright pink or red serving as a clear visual signal to males that she is ready to mate her genitalia swell turning a bright pink or red serving as a clear visual signal to males that she is ready to mate this swelling known as a sexual swelling is not merely a passive indicator it plays a crucial role in shaping the dynamics of baboon mating this swelling known as a sexual swelling is not merely a passive indicator, it plays a crucial role in shaping the dynamics of baboon mating. The size and coloration of the swelling can vary greatly between females and even across different cycles in the same female. The size and coloration of the swelling can vary greatly between females and even across different cycles in the same female. These variations provide males with valuable information, allowing them to assess the female's fertility and the timing of her ovulation. These variations provide males with valuable information, allowing them to assess the female's fertility and the timing of her ovulation. The timing of estrus and the prominence of sexual swellings have profound implications for both male and female reproductive strategies. The timing of estrus and the prominence of sexual swellings have profound implications for both male and female reproductive strategies. Understanding these cycles and signals is crucial for researchers studying baboon behavior and social dynamics. The arrival of a female in estrus sends a ripple of excitement through the baboon troop, particularly among the males. This excitement is palpable as the males become visibly more alert and agitated, each one keenly aware of the potential opportunity to mate. With the stakes high, competition for access to fertile females is fierce. The males engage in aggressive displays and physical confrontations, each one trying to assert his dominance over the others. Dominant males, by virtue of their rank, enjoy a certain level of priority. These alpha males have fought hard to reach their position and now reap the benefits of their status. They guard females closely, chasing away rivals and ensuring that their genes have the best chance of being passed on. This protective behavior is crucial for maintaining their dominance and securing their reproductive success. However, Maintaining this dominance is a constant battle. The alpha male must continually defend his position against challengers, both from within his troop and from outside males. Subordinate males, eager for an opportunity to mate, employ various tactics to circumvent the alpha's watchful eye. These males are often younger or less physically imposing but they are no less determined. Some males resort to sneaky matings attempting to mate with females when the dominant male is distracted or otherwise occupied. This strategy requires stealth and timing, as the consequences of being caught can be severe. Others form alliances, banding together to challenge the Alpha's authority. These coalitions can temporarily shift the balance of power, allowing lower-ranking males a chance to mate. These alliances can be fluid, shifting with the ebb and flow of power within the troop. The social dynamics are complex, with friendships and rivalries constantly evolving. The intensity of male-male competition is a testament to the power of sexual selection. This relentless struggle shapes the behavior and social structure of the troop. Those males who are most successful in navigating the social complexities and challenges of baboon life are more likely to pass on their genes, shaping the evolutionary trajectory of the species. Their success is not just a matter of strength, but also of strategy, intelligence and social acumen.